are just so many bats. <laughs> I just... <laughs> You almost can't even see the stage anymore. There are just so many. Hi there, everybody. Cram here, and welcome back to Vampire Survivors. Uh, so, we're checking out the new map, which is called Bat Country, but kind of looks to me like it's Green Hill Zone. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just. Yeah, just hopping back in to check out an update. Uh, there's some new stuff, uh, a couple new artifacts or relics that I want to try to pick up. And I uh, actually just recently unlocked a brand new character who is completely ridiculous stat-wise. So I don't expect this run to be much of a challenge. But it'll be fun to check out stuff that I haven't actually played yet. And, uh, yeah, I can I can understand the Bat Country name, given how many bats the game is throwing at us. I'm sure this is going to be just fine. Yeah, so I think, if I remember correctly, the new stuff spawns at 9 minutes and 18 minutes. So, yeah, we're just, we're just gonna kill bats, get stronger, and then... Go deal with whatever's guarding that when the time comes. I could... I could hit the merchant. It's kind of tempting. Uh, not sure which weapon I... Uh, okay, that's a, that's a lie. I actually know exactly which weapon I would want to grab. Let's take this. Oh no, that's right, I forgot. This, this character can't use the shop. Alright, so never mind that. Okay, actually it looks like there's nothing on the map, too, so... Won't have anything to distract us when the time comes. Gotta say, uh... The victory sword weapon this character has <laughs> seems really strong. I don't know if this is something that only they can get, or if everybody can get this once you get it up. Because usually with this... Uh, you need to... It's either, like, evolve it or survive for a certain amount of time with the character, and then everybody can get their, um... Uh, can get their weapon. And I'm gonna be... Something I half remember reading is that this weapon evolves with Tarana's box. So that's why I was really happy to see that one early. And I've already taken it, and yeah, we're just gonna fully level that up, so... Double enemies and double health and speed on enemies. <laughs> when I already have maxed out curse, this is going to be really silly later. Hopefully I have enough, like, AoE to deal with it. <laughs> it's going to be uh, a little embarrassing if I get, you know, like 10-15 minutes into the run and suddenly just drown in bats. Okay, uh, projectile speed doesn't seem to matter that much with this one, so we'll just keep taking cooldown. Uh, the only the only thing better than a sword that automatically hits several times is a sword that hits automatically several times faster. Gotta say, I'm really digging the music. That's that is something that I I just can't seem to get enough of with this game. Is that like just about every piece of music is fantastic. All right, duration. Probably also not super relevant. Um, yeah, I guess just Tarana's box. Take the thing that scales everything up to like 30% before making your run much harder. Ooh. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> definitely Sonic-inspired level. Full of bats. I'm not, I'm not sure what the connection is between what kind of looks like... Oh, what, what is that game? Is that Sonic? Sonic 3D Blast? Is that the one I'm thinking of? That's like the top-down, or the isometric Sonic <laughs> that I've never played, but I've watched a playthrough of or two over the years. It's kind of what this seems like. Wouldn't be surprised if the devs were fans of that. I know... A lot of people who played it back then have some pretty good memories. Alright, let's see what we get. 
Neat. Another free level of crown. Crown's really nice because getting that extra experience means you can hit higher, much higher levels than without it. Potentially also makes worth picking up the pentagram weapon later. Uh, especially once we are sufficiently strong because that'll just make this run super easy. It'll make it super annoying as well because that <laughs> thing makes so much noise and there's this big flashing visual effect, so... Uh, uh, as always with games like this, if you are sensitive to flashing lights, there's a chance there may be something later that'll cause trouble. Uh, if I do take pentagram, I will give a warning then as well. Don't know if I will yet or not. We'll see what comes up. Right now I'm just focusing on trying to uh, level up and evolve the victory sword. And not drown in bats, because there are a lot of bats. But also the character has like 500 or 400 and something health and recovers 3.5 per second, so it's going to be very difficult to die unless I just stand there and do nothing. I do love the, the fact that they just gave us a level that is nothing but bats. Because I'm assuming we're just going to see every kind of bat that's in the game for this one. Uh, duration? I don't think duration's useful. Stone Mask is okay. Kinda... I just want to keep doing what we're doing. I know that's not the most exciting pick, but like... It's it's hard to do it's it's hard to do better than a a weapon like this. I can I, I can you have to uh, get everything that was in the launch version of the base like the full version of the base game <laughs> to unlock this character. I understand why uh, because they seem insanely powerful so far. All right, yeah, I'll just take more cooldown again. Faster swords, always better. Though, not usually the strategy I take into uh, most Souls games. Those games, I prefer, and Monster Hunter, I prefer bigger swords to faster swords. But in this game, it's definitely a faster swords kind of game. Alright, what do we got? We got level 7 Victory Sword. I do want to get Victory Sword leveled up before we hit full Tyrannus box just to make sure we don't get overwhelmed. Again, I don't I don't think it's ultimately going to be a huge concern. But better better safe than again losing a run at 10 minutes because I got cocky and got punished for it. Okay. Uh, oh. Silly me, I just realized that this weapon's got or this character has no other weapon slots. So that would explain why I haven't seen another weapon yet. Alright, uh, how close are we to... Uh, five more levels of Victory Sword? Yeah, we'll just open this now. I was thinking about maybe saving it if we were close to try to get the Evolve quickly, but... I'll just take the three free levels of Victory Sword. And it has a combo finisher. Of course it has a combo finisher. Why wouldn't it? Alright. So our weapon is completely insane. Uh, it does a fair bit of damage. And let's just be really dumb about this. <laughs> and take the curse item. Just... Nothing but bats all the way down. All right, I do actually like the like the barriers. I think that provides an interesting replacement for... At least I'm assuming those serve as a replacement for light sources, because they seem to be dropping the same typical pickups that you get from light sources. Ooh. I'll take the... I don't know what the name of the attract orb consume like the pickup is but it's a very handy one 
Yeah, so we want Victory Sword to get to level 12. And then we can pick up the last level of Tirana's box. Hopefully have a boss at that point, so we can, or a chest down, so we can try to just instantly get the evolve on the weapon. And, uh, yeah. Alright, so what do I need besides... Let's see, I'm trying to think what, what else we need. So we've got the cooldown, we've got the experience, which is just perfectly fine for now. Uh, duration doesn't seem great. I just realized this character has a hundred and something rerolls. So we can get everything we want. I can take move speed. Move speed's not bad. Uh, I think what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to... Never mind. Uh, we want spinach, and we want the candelabra for the area boost. Assuming this actually works off of area. Uh, because that will give us the AoE that we may end up missing very quickly. Ooh, nice. <laughs> that was a little bit of a lucky roll. Again, the, the fact that this character has so many rerolls means you basically just get get all of the, the accessories that you want. And it's not even particularly close. Okay, yes, and it does appear that area is increasing the size of at least the combo finisher, so that'll help keep the number of enemies down. Also, I just realized it switched to a special stage in the background. Very nice. Uh, is my victory sword... No, I'm still one level off of max level victory sword. So yeah, again, trying to hold off on maxing out Toronto's box until we're ready to evolve. Oh, hang on. Nine minutes, and I just see a green arrow just spawned. So we're gonna run to... Oh, it's right there. Eight. So yeah, we're just gonna cut our way into this and pick up that item. Alright. So, that'll unlock the charm power-up. I don't exactly know what that does yet. Won't be relevant for this run, but... Okay, we, we have 12. I think it's time to take Tyrannus box. Did we get... Yes, okay, cool. Yeah, you can always tell by the items you see in the roulette. And what is this? This is... Give me the pop-up. Soul Solution. If more enemies are defeated, the stronger it grows. Alright, well, it's already moving way... Oh. Um. Okay. Uh. Yeah, so... I definitely... I, I mentioned it sooner. I probably should have mentioned it again, but, uh... Yeah, totally understand if you're somebody who has trouble with flashing lights and you need to hop off the video. Uh, I, I had no idea this was what we would be dealing with. Yeah, alright, it just creates a black... No, it's not even really a black hole, it's more just... I don't know, warp speed from Star Wars? <laughs> An entire galaxy at the tip, at your fingertips? Yeah, like, that's... It's... It's a great visual effect. I love it. I... <laughs> this is not what I expected when I... <laughs> when I started this run. So, uh, yeah, the, the... The run is over. Bar about 20 more minutes of just... Sitting here and... Sitting here and seeing how things go. We probably do owe it to ourselves to try to max out uh, the remainder. I, I should be taking more curse. Just give me more stuff to feed into it, please. And I am exactly the level of overconfident to take uh, coins always over food ever. So, yeah. 
Uh, Queen Sigma is kind of broken in exactly the way you expect for a character that requires as much time and effort in the game to unlock as she does. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. <laughs> uh, though in about seven minutes we will have another uh, artifact to go grab that it's the Chaos Malachite, and if I remember what I've heard correctly, it actually gives one of the... It uh, gives um, Mortachio, the skeleton, an evolution for his weapon, kind of. So I'm interested to see how that plays out, but probably not in this video. If I, if I take a look at that, that'll probably be in a different one. For now, I'm just going to stand here and... I yeah, look at this. What do I what do I even say? It's kind of great. Honestly, it's it's kind of exactly the level of satisfying that you'd want. Also, I just noticed the bats are different colors. Are they naturally that or yeah, it kind of looks like we have purple and green bats. I don't know if I've seen those before. We're gonna say they definitely seem to hit pretty hard. Not that it particularly matters for this character. But yeah. It is kind of cool, honestly, that for as long as this game's been out, for a small indie game, that it is still getting this level of support. I imagine the devs have done very well for themselves. And you know what? They deserve it. This game is an absolute blast to play, and I've, I've had a great time in the 60 or so hours I've sunk into it between recording videos and just playing it for fun. Uh, it's a lot like 20 Minutes to Dawn in that respect, where it's just, it's a really fun game, and I record it, even, or I play it even when I'm not recording it. <laughs> it's just, just absolutely crazy. Oh, uh, chest spawned in. Oop, didn't quite make it there. Yeah, let's, I don't know, let's change up the scenery a bit. Here, we'll stand on the waterfall. At least I think that's what that's supposed to be. There's just so many bats. I just... <laughs> you almost can't even see the stage anymore. There are just so many. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure this is fine. Just a little bit longer and everything should spawn. Starting to take a little bit of damage because these these enemies are just <clears throat> coming in overwhelming numbers. <laughs> so I may have been a little too over ambitious, but again, if that's the case, then so be it. Alright. Now, let's cut our way through to the Chaos Malachite, which definitely doesn't look like another famous Chaos gem that you may or may not have heard of. <laughs> I'll be honest, when I when I started a level called Bat Country, I was not expecting this level of, like, Sonic reference. <laughs> I don't think it's a bad thing, it's just not what I expected. say, I wonder if we can hit level 200 by the end of this. Uh, there's a decent chance. We do still have 12 minutes to go, or 11 minutes to go, pretty much. Twelve more minutes of <laughs> giant galaxies absorbing every bat in the vicinity and hoping that we are what the... I, I beg your pardon. Ooh, yeah, okay, we are starting to really lose some health here. Alright, 
let's see what we can do about finding ourselves some floor chicken. There, we found some floor chicken, and there's plenty of floor chicken nearby. Ooh. Yeah, the chicken definitely would have been better to take it for the level up reward. Something interesting I've noticed about the uh, the galaxy state is that it, any power-ups you pick up actually get delayed. So if I were to pick up a, like, a crucifix to nuke the screen, it doesn't happen during that. Oh. Oh, it's only a 20-minute stage. Neat. Oh, there we go. That was Bat Country and Queen Sigma. Just completely ridiculous. But, yeah, uh, honestly, always fun to keep up with this game. And uh, at this point, I have almost everything minus the secret characters. So there may be another video or two coming in the future. We'll see. Well, we'll see. I've got a lot of things that I want to do and definitely not enough time to cover everything. So who knows where we'll go next. But anyway, thank you so much for joining me for this video. I hope you had as much fun with this one as I did, and I will catch you in the next one.